Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Macgirl25 Antonetta. I am here to talk about a quick review, and that's pretty much it. Um, it is Monday, so I am trying to... Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my iPad, because that's where I'm filming. Uh, it is Monday, so I'm trying to... Um, film as much as I can just to show you guys that I really do care about my subscribers. Um, so today we're going to talk about the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation. Um, I've heard, you know, mixed reviews on this and, you know, I mean, I've heard, you know, if you have really oily skin, this is not good for you. If you have really dry skin, you're going to love it. Um, I have combination to oily skin, so I mean, you know, in the in the winter time, I do get a tad oily um, in my T zone area, but everywhere else, I do get dry patches. And I don't know if you can see here, but I have quite a few tiny dry patches. Um, so this is a medium to full coverage foundation. A lot of people say that if you are oily, you're not gonna like it. Personally, me, I used a primer underneath and I had no problem. Um, I tested it out a, another way, which didn't really agree with my skin. So the primer underneath the foundation worked well for me. Um, it didn't, it didn't give me those dry patches that a, you know, that just putting this over top might show. So the primer did help. Um, when I used a BB cream instead of the primer, I noticed that my skin got really, really oily. Like an oil slick everywhere. Like I could not explain to you how oily I was because I was so shocked because a BB cream on its own normally doesn't do that to my face. But when I put the BB cream first, then I put this on top, it was just an oily disaster. So I wouldn't recommend um, a BB cream or even a moisturizer that's thick underneath this because this is very moisturizing as it is. So it comes in a pump, which is really, really um, great. You don't want to dip your brush into the product and then, you know, apply it and then dip your brush again. So it's very clean and less germy this way. Don't you just love my vocabulary, germy? Um, so I'm in the color W6 in Sun Beige, and honestly, I just kind of winged my color because I don't really use a lot of drugstore foundations, although I'm trying to branch out to drugstore foundations because I want to give you guys my opinions on them and, you know, compare them to higher end so that you do have an option if you want to spend the extra money on a higher end or if you, you know, want to dupe that is a bit cheaper. So, um, this particular... This particular foundation runs for about $20 at the drugstore. Um, you can get it, you can find it cheaper probably like at Walmart or um, your cheaper brand drugstores where they probably carry it a couple dollars less. So you might get it between $16 to $20 range. Um, so this is what it looks like when you apply it on your skin. Now, don't look at my face right now because I just... First of all, I only used one layer this morning, and it is, what time is it? It's 8.50. Can you see that? Maybe not. There we go. It's 8.50 at night, so I pretty much used this all day. So I only used one layer, which is medium coverage. You can build it up to a full coverage foundation. Take a look at this. So when you rub it in... It's very creamy, very moisturizing. When you place this on your skin, you're going to feel how much moisture is actually in, in this particular product. And you can see how luminizing it makes your, your hand look compared to this one. I'm sorry about my lighting, guys, but I mean, I have to make do. It's, it's dark. It's dark. It's 8.50 in Canada. Like, we get dark here at this time of year, like, freaking five o'clock so um 
see that shine it gives your skin so I mean it is medium to full coverage you can build it to full coverage my hand feels very moisturized um, would I suggest this for a night out on the town no um, this is the type of foundation that I would suggest that you use on days where you don't want to um, when you're not doing a lot and you're not sweating because when you tend to sweat with this it makes you more oily why because this is luminizing hence the word lumi um, when you see that type of you know name in a product it's gonna make you look glowy and I wouldn't say shiny but I mean if you do sweat it's gonna make you look really shiny it's gonna make you look really oily that's just the bottom line so this type of foundation is probably best on an everyday basis when you know you're going to work you're not sweating you're not going to be you know in the heat a lot um, for me this particular foundation is is great for me in the winter time because my skin gets really dry and patchy and you know I just stick a primer underneath I pop this on for work in the morning and you know my skin doesn't look dry and patchy like it would if I were to use a mattifying foundation during this time of year because it is minus 40 in Canada um, so you know I mean I mean it's a hit and miss with some people I think it's pretty much up to you and how you know you're willing to try out a, a product like this and if your skin agrees with it or not I mean if you are an oil slick on a daily basis then you know what this is not the foundation for you but if you are like me and you are oily combination this actually might be great for you for the winter time because it does help moisturize your face without um, without making you too oily provided that you use a primer it doesn't matter what primer just use a primer underneath um, and it helps just keep your face hydrated and your skin hydrated so it doesn't look dry especially during this time of year when it's pretty much really cold and you know your skin is just craving water um, so yeah that is my quick and mini review on this bad boy um, I have used it for about a week um, I have used, I have bought this before Christmas and I wanted to test it out before Christmas. I just hadn't had a time, um, had the time to do it because I was taking a lot of pictures and we were going out and I, I was dancing, I was sweating. So I didn't want to use something that was going to kind of like slick off my face. So, um, I ended up using a mattifying a mattifying foundation for those type of nights and if you know that you're going to be out dancing all night use a mattifying foundation because you don't want your face to melt off um, so yeah I would suggest this on a day-to-day -day basis going to work not over exerting yourself not sweating um, do not wear a BB cream underneath this because it's gonna make you look even more oily oilier try just using a primer um, on your face to control your oils pop this on your face is looking luminizing just like the container says right now I'm wearing this but I'm only wearing one layer I'm not wearing two normally I wear two for full coverage but I only wore one today because I just didn't want um, two full two full coverage on my face today um, and you know what it actually pr it covers pretty well my redness is covered I just am wearing a little blush that's why I have a little bit of rosiness on my cheeks that's my blush um, but all in all it does cover all my my redness in and around my uh, nose and t-zone area um, it does cover up my chin area as well however I have been eating and I had I had dinner so when I wiped my mouth I wiped off my makeup um, so I mean, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, post uh, a blog entry on this baby very, very soon, and I'm going to take photos of my face, full coverage with this on, and I'm going to post them with my blog post so that you guys can see um, how great this looks with a primer because I really do enjoy it with a primer. Um, for those of you dry skin girls out there, you will love this because this is very moisturizing. 
it leaves your skin very moisturized it feels like your skin is very smooth um, at the same time it's it's luminizing so it gives you a healthy glow um, so if you're dry skin girls you're gonna love this uh, oily combination make sure you wear a primer you're very oily girls I would stay away from this because this would just make it worse but all in all for a drugstore foundation i really do uh i really do enjoy this i'm actually shocked because i didn't think that i was going to like it at all um, once i figured out how to use it and what to use it with i actually am very impressed and i'm really excited because now i have a drugstore option that i can use on an everyday basis which is what i was looking for um for an everyday an everyday wear that way i don't have to constantly use my high-end foundations and completely use them up just for everyday use instead of saving them for special occasions so um that's all i have to talk about today i really did uh enjoy trying this baby out i'm really excited to keep using it guys if you have any um questions or comments leave them down below don't forget to rate and subscribe it is free and I will hope to see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate and subscribe again. And go check out my blog at macgirl25.blogspot.ca. Until next time, everyone. Bye. Mwah.